If we're going to tackle probability, then we need to know how to use combinations and permutations. And I'm going to show you how to do both analyses using Microsoft Excel. For this example, I'm going to be using Probability Week 8 Excel spreadsheet that is available both in our class and through a link in the description for this video. Let's dive in to combinations and permutations. On tab 1, which I've titled factorials or factorials, depending on how you would like to pronounce that, we're going to be working on those combinations and permutations, both of which are based upon factorials. A factorial or factorial of any number is that number times every lower number. So for instance, the factorial of 2 would be 2 times 1, which would be 2. The factorial of 3 is 3 times 2 times 1, which would be 6. The factorial of 5 is 120. The factorial of 8 is 40,320. And you can see that these numbers are going to get pretty big pretty fast, which is why the values in this cell uh, are in such a small font. If we get up into uh, 15 factorial, we get up into a very large number. The factorials can then be used to create combinations and permutations. Both combinations and permutations are counting rules about taking a smaller number from a larger number and creating groupings. So how many groupings of size 2 could we collect from a larger group of size 6? Well, combinations and permutations depend upon ordering. So for instance, with a combination, the order of the events doesn't matter. It would be like ordering a pizza. The order that you order, arrange the uh, toppings on that pizza doesn't really matter. If you order cheese and ham and pineapple, then your pizza is going to be the same regardless of whether they put the ham on first or the pineapple on last. The pizza is the same because the ordering of the ingredients doesn't matter. On the other hand, if you were using a combination lock, which is actually ironically named, it should be a permutation lock because the order on that lock, on the combination, does matter. If the order of the numbers on your combination lock is uh, 42, 23, and 3.14, it matters that you put those numbers in the lock in that order. If you try using 23 first, the lock isn't going to open, even though you have three correct numbers. Combinations, orders don't matter. Permutations, order does matter. So now, let's take a look at how we can do this using our Excel spreadsheet. You see here that there are, a, there are spaces for a larger number and a smaller number. Each of those numbers will create a factorial in this box right here. So for instance, I gave you the example of we have, if we have six items and we want to get combinations or permutations of two items. The factorial for six is 720. The factorial for two is two. The combinations and permutations are in these two boxes. You'll notice that I have the formulas for combinations and permutations. However, we don't need to create those formulas because Excel has a built-in formula that will do this math for us. Now let me show you the formulas that I'm actually using in this Excel spreadsheet. Let's start with factorials and then we'll do combinations and permutations. To create a factorial, we use the formula FACT and then open parentheses. It requires only one argument, which is a number. So I'll just click on that number, close parentheses. There is my factorial. Combinations use the formula equal sign, C-O-M-B-I-N. And this requires two arguments, the larger number and the smaller number. So I'll put the larger number in first, comma, 
and that smaller number goes in second. Click, and there's my combination for 15. The permutations use a very similar formula, equal sign, P-E-R-M-U-T, open parentheses, and again, the larger number, comma, and the smaller number. No need to add the close parentheses, that's done for us automatically. And of course, Excel will change my lowercase typing into uppercase, giving me a properly formatted formula for Microsoft Excel. So that is how you can use the factorial, permutation, and combination formulas using Microsoft Excel.